This is the, the second in the, my VLC series and I did things a little different this time. I, as before I right clicked and did a choose items in the, the toolbox and once again went to the COM components and selected uh, actually this time I selected both V1 and V2 of the uh, Video LAN uh, ActiveX components, ActiveX plugins, and uh, said OK, and that put them down in the toolbox. For some reason, when I come leave and come back, these go away every time. I don't understand why, but then I just dragged over the V2 directly to the form and resized it in order to create that and I didn't do a user control this time before I right clicked on here and did a add user control and associated the user control with it whoops <laughs> don't want to do that and uh, but it turned out to be unnecessary I couldn't see any reason I had to do that because I mean in both cases I just drag it over to the form but uh, in any case, I also added a list box for a playlist and then uh, I guess uh, seven buttons. Add to playlist, play, stop, first, previous, next, and last, which are kind of standard buttons and any kind of player. And the reason is we're looking at playlist this time. And if you double click on the add to playlist, I basically just open a file dialog and check if a file has been selected and if it is I do a vlc.playlist.add and pretty much all these commands are vlc.playlist vlc is what I renamed the, the plugin and uh, once again you have to use a file colon slash 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 for the URI in order for it to get it right because you need a protocol as well as a file name and I used the fully qualified file name and then I also specify the safe file name which is just a short file name and then a null for the options and I, at the same time I add it to the playlist I also add it to the uh, uh, list box LBX playlist Dot atom, items dot add and I just add the safe name because basically what we do when we interact with the playlist is just use the selected index which now matches the index for the playlist on the VLC dot playlist but almost all the commands for this are trivial like if you go to the play this will just play the first one in the playlist and I do it with a try just in case but I've never seen this message box pop up even though sometimes it doesn't work and that's one of the disappointments really is there's a huge number of files this plays the embedded player but there's also some files it doesn't play and I haven't been able to figure out why at first I thought it was size but then I was able to play huge files and then I thought it might be security or attributes but they have the same attributes so it must be something obscure like bitrate or or, or uh, density or something but in any case I may be rambling here the stop is just uh, VLC playlist stop and almost all of these are exactly what you'd think they'd be to go to the first it's, uh, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's VLC playlist play item zero. And to go to the last, I, uh, I get the VLC playlist dot items dot count and then subtract one since it's zero based. If I have three items, the count will be three, but the last item will be two. So, just subtract a minus one and you'll go to the last and uh, previous is just uh, 
playlist.prev prev and uh, next if I had to guess it's going to be next yes is vlc.playlist.next so as I say fairly trivial commands the trick is knowing they exist knowing that the playlist exists at all for the plugin and for the selected item I use the selected index changed in the list box and then I get the index from the list box which is zero base so it's going to match the index in the playlist and then I do a VLC dot playlist dot play item and use this selected index so you can directly play something that's in the uh, playlist so if we compile and run this I hope I didn't mess something up when I was messing around there if you do the add to playlist and these videos are just videos I made see that goes in the list box and it's also in the playlist and then I do add the playlist for the second one and the reason I'm doing videos I made is because I'm afraid there'll be some kind of copyright thing there's a lot more interesting videos you could play like music videos and educational videos and whatnot but now if I press play it'll play the first item in the playlist since I'm doing vlc.playlist.play and you see that's me holding up my finger number one embedded VLC player sometimes uh, test one when you uh, do this the, you just see a blank screen when you upload it to, to uh, uh, YouTube I'm not sure why that is but I've seen that before and if you see that trust me there's a video playing in there and if I press next this is a test of the uh, embedded VLC player test 2 so it goes to the next one in the list if I go previous it goes back this to the is first a test one. of uh, the embedded VLC player uh, test 1 and if I go to the uh, last one it'll go to 3 this is a test of the embedded VLC player test 3 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm cracking myself up, and then you can directly select this it is a by test clicking on the, the, uh, the list. VLC player test two. So all those playlist commands work, although some videos don't play for some reason. I have no idea what it is. It must be some technical reason about the video itself, because I've actually translated the videos in the different formats, like WMV to FLV and those exact videos don't play again in the embedded player although they will play in the regular VLC player so if anyone has some insight into that you might leave uh, that information under the uh, video well I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe